below this whatever comes out. Start with the tongue and ready, big breath, buzz. One more time, again, just the whole note go. And off. So if you do not see them do that at home, guess what? Help us out, hold them accountable, make sure they're buzzing at home. That's part of their practice plan, and that goes for all the brass instruments, okay? So the first instrument, go ahead and plug in, thank you. The first instrument we talk about is my primary instrument, trombone. It's the only instrument that does not use keys or vowels, it uses the slide, okay? So trombones at this time go to first position, go to step. I kind of scooted them back a little bit, hopefully they have enough room, uh, so they have enough slide room here a little bit, okay? Trombones go to sixth. Sixth position, you can see how much longer it gets. Believe it or not, it's the same thing that happens with the other brass instruments. You just don't see it because it's all wrapped up into one. And so they have to have pretty long arms. They have to have pretty fast slides. Okay, thank you, relax. There's their parts of their instruments. Now, what's really important is that you get them, please, slide and mix, rapid comfort, not slide oil. Slide and mix rapid comfort comes in either this medium bottle with a black top. You might have also seen it as a small bottle and a large bottle with a red top. If both of them say slide and mix, that's perfectly fine. Uh, because that works the best for having a really, really slick slide. And sometimes it's too slick and it goes zoop right out of their hands and it goes clank, clank, clank on the floor. And so we always want to make sure we control that. That's why we use our slide lock. Also, they should have this not on the screen, a water bottle. It's a spray water bottle that they should be using uh, to lubricate their slide to keep it nice and slick. Same thing with the tuning slide with the slide grease. Okay, next, euphoniums. Go to set for me, euphoniums. This is almost like a baby tuba. Sometimes you might have grown up or coined it a baritone. That's kind of more of an old school term, and it's actually a slightly different instrument. These are actual euphoniums, so that's a fancy word that they get to say. Notice as they have that, they have their left hand, they kind of give a hug. Some of our students are fairly tall from their waist higher, and we want to have them have a towel, so sometimes I'll suggest to students that they get an old bath towel, and they put that under the bow of their instrument so that they're not reaching down like this, and so everything's nice and open. You should see their left hand give a big old hug, and then with their right hand, same thing as the trumpets, you should see this open pocket so that they can move those valves straight up and down, and once again, the thumb should be straight. At this point, the mouthpiece is the same as the trombone. That will change next year as they step up to what we call a large war instrument. Same um, valve oil, same slide grease. Trombones, here's their playing position, uh, seated, just like what you saw earlier. And here's the standing trombone position. Same like trumpets in that it's faced down at a downward angle. Euphonium playing position, just like what you saw there. Notice the space uh, underneath the space underneath the bottom bow, and so that's a lot of times what makes it easier on the wrists if you have a towel or some pad to kind of have to hang it up there, okay? Tubas, a bigger version of the euphonium. Go to set for me, tubas. This is a big dog. So they even get their own little tuba stand, okay? And so they're lucky enough that they get that so that they don't have to sit there and hang on to it the whole time. Go ahead and go to set for me. Much like the euphoniums, they have a big old hug, and their mouthpiece is a lot bigger. And then same thing with the right hand. They have this open pocket here so that they can move their valve straight up and down. It takes a lot of air to play tuba. Very frowny face, very warm air, um, just as if you were fogging up the inside of like a school bus on the right to school. These are great pictures of a plane position off to the side and also that kind of hand seat position with their right hand. Same thing, valve oil, slide grease, just like euphonium and trumpets. Next. And hot cross buns. So before we do this, trombones, euphoniums, tubas, let's go ahead and warm up just like the trumpets did. We're going to start at measure number one. So show me what fourth position is. And what that means for tubas and euphoniums is these first two valves down. What position is that? Fourth. Trombones means that they're going to take their outer slide and line it up with the edge of their belt. Okay, so let's start here at the beginning. Ready, big old breath, and tap your toe. Set, here's D. Go. Down, up, down, up, now the quarter notes. Take a big old breath, breathe down the whole note. D e flat, third position, ready, and go. Your way. 
twist. Rest. Ta ta. Now the last note. Here we go. Check your water real quick, low brass. Check your water really, really quick. Now, when they do that, they should not be using their shoe. They should be using their hand, and they should not be able to do that where it's really, really low brass out. <laughs> okay, just, just one puff, and that's all they need to do. Okay, so you may want to have a trash can nearby when they're practicing at home, just so we don't stay our carpets not spit when wins. Okay, we won't make fun of clarinets and saxophones when they squeak if you won't call it spit. Okay, so it's condensation. Everybody say that word, condensation. Just like if you were to blow warm air on a window when it's cold outside and you get a little moisture, that's not spit, it's condensation. So you have cold metal, warm air going through that. Go to fourth position, low brass. Here we go. Get ready for the recording. Make sure you tap your toe. Big old deep breath and tongue every note. Set.